Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose back again and uh, today let's go ahead and unbox this incredible um, Sig Sauer MCX Rattler. This was sent to us by Airgun Depot to review and uh, that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and open it up and uh, we'll see exactly what all comes in the box. Um, CO2 air gun safety and uh, limited warranty talks about uh, just you know basic warranty looks like um, it looks like it's roughly 180 days 90 day warranty so um, no real instruction pack in here um, it is going to come with one magazine this is a pretty hefty feeling magazine I can tell you that this thing's pretty darn hefty um oh there we go all right so this pulls off co2 in the side tighten it up and then put it back together i'm really surprised it didn't come with any directions i don't see any directions in here um let's go ahead and pull the mcx out itself oh come on oh my goodness it's well packed um so there we have it um, pistol size uh, it does have a folding butt stock here in the back. So that's kind of cool, right? Hopefully, let's see how these flip-ups work. Okay, they're manual flip-ups. Got a little dot in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not my favorite, but still pretty cool. Still pretty cool. Ambi charging handle. The charging handle, yeah, that's cool, man. Ambidextrous, yeah, yeah. Got to like that. Got to like that. I ran into this, yeah, I think that's, there you go. But, uh, cool mock flash suppressor, um, plastic. Um, but there's a lot of metal on this thing, too. Um, I think it's going to be really fun. But, more importantly, um, I mean, while I like flip-ups, I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. We need an EOTech on top of this puppy. Let's throw an EOTech up on there and uh, get that thing really set up. There we go. Now we got the uh, EOTech up on top. Oh, yeah. Now we're ready to take this thing out to the range, shoot some pop cans or beer cans or whatever's laying around over at uh, Dave's house. I'm going to head over there. We're going to shoot some cans. Show you guys some of this fun stuff. We've got the CO2. We've got the BBs. They're all loaded up. We're heading over there. We'll be right back. <clears throat> all right. What's going on, everybody? We're out at the range with the SIG MCX. And, you know, one thing I wanted to point out is this thing actually has takedown. It does. It legit, you can actually pop these pins out and this whole top comes right off. So we did top it with the EOTech uh, just for having a good time. Uh, but I do want to show you guys um, how to load this CO2. So this magazine is going to come like this. Okay. On the bottom here, you just grip this piece, pop this off, and then inside of here, you're going to drop your CO2. Uh, put it in nozzle first and then just drop the come on go. I'm just kidding it's not that hard <laughs> but uh, once it's in we're just gonna take our um, little screw here we're gonna screw it in just till it punctures that's it we don't want to over tighten it we don't want to drive it in that's gonna cause leaks every time um, I did hit this with Pelgun oil so um, I had already done it but there we go so we are there then what we're going to do is we're going to take our follower this is a spring guided follower here we're going to pull this down and then over on the bottom left here is a catch so we're going to pull the follower down catch it we're going to grab our cool little bb tool here and we are going to well maybe well that's weird okay seriously there it goes I'm like, what in the heck? All right. And we're going to insert BBs into our magazine. And that should be almost enough. 
telling you, these things are invaluable. If you guys are going to pick up any of these uh, semi-auto or full auto, definitely make sure to grab one of these uh, from Air Gun Depot because you will thank me later, I promise. Um, and then um, I did bring my buddy Dave out to shoot this video with me. So give me a second here. I'm going to flip this camera around. We're going to get Dave on camera shooting this thing. Um, Dave is a USCCA instructor who has never seen any of these in real life. He's never shot them. And the look on his face is priceless to me when I see that he's like, I can't believe the realism of this thing. I can't believe, you know basically just how well it does um and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna grab the camera we'll be right back oh you've got the uh the sig rattler in front of you there um that's it, it how, how realistic is that it's pretty much dead on i mean it really is other than a few of the plastic pieces like right. obviously on yeah. the the flash hider and things like that um it's it really is a very good representation yeah um to see it sitting on the table walking up to you think oh, oh for sure 100 percent, right mm -hmm. and if you put the magazine in it it's even yeah. more yep. realistic because of the weight yep. um but uh it's it's actually got ambidextrous um mag releases mm -hmm. um you know it's just it's ambidextrous safety um switch on it it is yep. on three shot so i don't know yep. if you want to move it to one shot or yeah, we can do one shot and then we do three yeah so right. go ahead and load her up give her a good charge on the handle and uh you don't have to smack it like the uh, <laughs> realistic ones but let's go ahead and move this down here and see what we can't do Well, you're, you're nicking them. Oh. Go back to the target. That's what I'm doing. What is, that? is it shooting? It doesn't nah. sound like it's shooting. Hold on, nah. Dave. Let me let me let me take a look here real yep. quick. Because I don't think it's actually it's not it's not feeding, and the reason was is because I put too many BBs in it. Okay. There you go, buddy. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah, that was my bad. Mr. Right. Airgun over here. Try this again. Okay, Mr. try that again, Dave. Where is it going? It's going really low. Shooting at the top of the shoulder. Uh, it's shooting way low. Yeah. There, it's coming up. It's coming up. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Aim for the, the guy on the right, the center of his head. It's hitting his shoulder. Now his neck. There, it's in his neck. It's still in his neck. Okay, go back to the cans. There you go. There it is. All right. Put on some three-round burst, Dave. Let's see what that does on the target. Just have some fun. I like the three-round burst. I really do. Um, so here's the thing, Dave, and this is something to we should speak about. And let me let me come around the front here. So the thing with CO2 um, is number one, we have a very um, cool morning this morning, right? Um, you know, it's not super hot. You know, kind of temperature fluctuates whether you're in the shade or the sun. Yep. CO2 itself is inherent to um, heat issues right so co2 in the winter outside is not the greatest idea okay. it does best on warmer days because it keeps it warm instead of freezing okay. right co2 cartridges um you know like for example if we take if we take this off here and we let the air out of this yeah. See how it's frosting up? Right. So you yep. can see how frosty it is, mm -hmm. right? Now feel how cold this thing is. Oh yeah, freezing. Right? Yep. So, but that's the same thing that happens when we shoot CO2 is it, it'll start to cool off. Okay. So that's where you get those fluctuations. Um, now, I will say this in all honesty, um, you know, having this, this EOTech on there did not, you know, really 
I mean, it didn't do the EOTech any justice, that's right. for sure. Um, but, um, you know, the, the top rail's a little, you know, yeah, it's, it's plastic. plastic yeah. It is, you know. And then with the drop of the BBs and things like that, you know, because of the CO2 cooling off and the fact that we're having a load of fun with it. Right. You know, I mean, it just kind of <laughs> is what it is. Uh, but I will say that it is a very cool training apparatus, yes. if you ask me. Right. Absolutely, I agree. Um, you know, just having the size and the classical buttstock, right? So, on this buttstock, if we just pick up and rotate, it locks over. So, you know, you could you could carry this in your, yeah. you know, your backpack, go out to the range and have a good time with your friends. Um, you know, there is some cool stuff here. Um, but yeah, I, I dig it. I feel? think it's I cool, like it. man. Yeah. I, I think it's really cool. Yeah, it's super cool. So, with that being said, you can always check out Air Vent or Air Gun Depot and their Air Venturi lineup, as well as this uh, Sig. Um, and I'll drop a link in the description down below. Also, you can check out the links on our new website, and that is up north stuff. Dot com and for all the channels that I do all of the sponsors and everybody that sends me stuff all my affiliate stuff is all on there so you guys can go over there you can save some money you can get some great deals on free shipping things like that as well um, and uh, we'd appreciate if you check that out if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button it is a fact and I hear it more and more across the um, air gun firearm and even some other channels that like only like 20% of our views are actually from subscribers everybody else is not subscribed and if you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it you should be subscribing to people's channels and I understand that you think that hey I'm gonna spam you I'm not you're only gonna get notified if you click that bell but by subscribing, it does help to bring you more con content like this. Like for example, uh, Dave and I were just talking last night and you told me about a guy that has a channel on YouTube and you're like, oh dude, I love watching this guy. And he's like, he tells me who it is. The guy's got like a million two, yeah. don't say his name. Nope. Million two subscribers. <laughs> but um, you know, I never heard of this guy and it's right, right down my alley, yeah. right? And yeah. the reason is because YouTube definitely shadow bans anybody even though this is not a firearm they consider this a firearm it's ridiculous but they do they consider it a firearm so they shadow ban us they keep us down so this might be the first time that you've ever seen my channel and the crazy thing is i've been around for three years now and you know i've got a ton of videos i've got over 500 videos and uh, i've been around i work with a lot of big companies and things like that and the reason is because youtube shadow bans us so by liking these videos and subscribing to channels you're going to see more of this because it does affect the youtube algorithm so with that being said i'm moose i definitely appreciate you guys tuning in till next time be good to each other and god bless yeah.